Hey gang, Hamish here from Long and Winding. So I've noticed that um, a lot of you guys are actually new to mountain biking. Uh, and if you're wondering where a good place to start at riding is, uh, Listerfield is actually an awesome option. So I'm gonna show you guys all of Listerfield's green trails today and maybe a few intermediate trails as well. So you can get a bit of a picture of what you can expect out here at Listerfield. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, so I've parked at Listerfield East Mountain Bike Car Park. I'm going to start off with a nice old loop around the lake. Alright, so this is Lake Circuit Track. It's about uh, 6 kilometers, a little bit over. And it's a nice big old loop around the lake. So similar to skiing, mountain bike trails use a color coding system. So green is the easiest. It's really good for beginners, so you're going to find Nothing too wild in terms of obstacles or terrain. Hopefully nothing too steep, either up or down. Then you got your blue, which is your kind of intermediate level trails. Slightly more technical, more undulating gradients. Then you got your black and your double black diamond trails, which really are for advanced riders. So this is a really nice circuit around the lake. Pretty sure most of this is a uh, gravel road like this. Really nice way though to get started with mountain biking. You can definitely ride a CX or gravel bike on this stuff as well. This is actually really nice. A really good warm up for what's to come. Also really a great one for uh, if you got kids then to start out mountain biking also really well signposted so you know exactly where you're going Ooh, it's all right poor little guy mom was on one side joey on the other all right bit of a climb now there are a few decent hills out here at listerfield what goes up must come down good to be mindful that this is a shared path on these descents just need to take it easy keep your wits about you all right heading back to the car park now oh this is really nice but yes very much a beginner's trail ah uh, yes okay so this is where i turned off from the fire roads so that's the loop guys super beginner's trail that one to be honest if you've ridden on a gravel road before you know what's up I might skip that one. It is very nice, but there are fun trails to be ridden out here that are also suitable for beginners. Also, uh, trail mix. So this is a, another green trail. The bottom of it starts at, uh, this is the Listerfield East car park, I'm pretty sure. Or at least pretty close to it. But yes, green equals beginner. So this could be a really good option if you've just done the lake circuit. You're up for some single track, ready to take the next step. Trail mix is where it's at. Got some little rock features there, A lines, B lines, nice easy gradient, smooth trail. And here you are, you are mountain biking. This is what it's all about. Getting out in the bush, nothing but the sound of birds and maybe your free will. <laughs> Cruising some flowy single track. Fantastic. That was trail mix. So here I am at the East Car Park. Time to get into the single track lower buckle. So this is an intermediate trail, a blue trail. But to me, I think this is still a pretty good trail to start out on. If you're new to the scene. I see a lot of folks who are pretty new to this out here. So this is lower buckle. And I'll probably head up to Upper Buckle later, which I think is also a blue trail, intermediate. So I'm riding a uh, full suspension cross country bike. My Kendall Scaffold SI, 100 mils of travel front and rear. For these trails, this bike is almost overkill. You definitely ride these trails on a, on a budget hardtail or a budget full suspension bike. 
it is good to stay out in the hardtail not only because they're cheaper but because they teach you really good bike handling skills teach you how to look after your rear rear wheel so you don't trash it in the rough stuff and other really valuable bike handling skills that you might miss out on if you start straight out in a full suspension bike these trails are nice and uh, flowy and not too hilly either to me the right amount of challenge optional jumps which actually aren't super great I wouldn't be too disappointed if you don't hit those really well designed well built trails I'm trying to keep the pace up today I'm training for uh, a race in a few weeks called the Otway Odyssey it's a 100 kilometer mountain bike race I also do 30 kilometer and 50 kilometer options but yes I'm getting back into XC racing which I'm excited about look out for the vids on how to prepare what it's like racing so this is still lower buckle this is really fun whoa big boy yeah these jumps to flat just watch them because they will mess you up if you get too hard this is super pretty passing through these eucalyptus trees really flowy smooth trail fantastic you can see why this is such a popular spot for beginners I should note that not all green blue black double black trails are of an equal bearing I know for a fact that the blues had a regular a lot rougher than this blue trail I think I may be now on upper buckle slowly climbing up building up towards something yeah awesome this is great such a great resource for folks starting out with this in the scene all right so that brings me to the end of upper buckle now it's time for dog pound another blue trail pretty sure this is a nice descent this one probably a little rougher the odd jump here and there nice and flowy though all these jumps are totally optional guys you don't have to hit them dog pound okay i'm heading up humping ground not quite sure where this takes me it's a one-way trail doesn't look super well used this trail so humping ground appears to be the climbing trail for dog pound nice little loop all right heading into middle now just come out of the bottom of dog pound there's been a bit of drama came down dog pound and uh there's a guy just lying in the middle of the trail with his mate flagging me down so i stopped this guy's out cold had a full face on totally unresponsive not moving took him like five or so minutes to get back with it i called an ambulance and they told me to cancel it so i cancelled it reminds you of the dangers not to take these trails for granted ride within your limits it looks very much worse for wear stay safe folks this is a pretty classic uh what's the field trail this one middle probably a little bit more technical than upper and lower buckle whoa that's technical this is the kind of stuff that uh can catch you by surprise but i'll always be looking ahead freaked me out seeing that guy on the ground <laughs> he wasn't saying anything i was like is he just not a chatty guy or can he hear me and that i think it might have been a lack of hearing a lack of a lack of consciousness these trails are really fantastic you can get quite a bit of speed on some of these other blue ones so just be, be wary but yes very fun Alrighty, riding red gum now. This is the start of it. Pretty sure this trail climbs us up to the Hallam Road car park, which is also another really popular car park. Nice cruisy climbing trail this one. If middle was a little bit hectic, this is probably your chill antidote. Time to 
relax and reflect on the fact that you made it through the middle. Ooh. All right, so climbed up rope gum, did a little bit of climbing on the state MTB course. I'm going to skip that because the rest of that course is probably a little much for beginners. I'm going to head back over, suss out a few more blue trails and head back towards the car. All right, so if you've parked at Helen Road, a good trail to start out on is Hug, Blue Trail, some really fun descents. This is probably a little rougher than some of the buckle trails. Actually a really nice trail, this one. Really good combinations of uh, ascending and descending, good flow. So I just finished Hug, which is, yes, definitely the more rougher end of the blue trail so be careful if you're riding that trail and you're new and I'm now on Blair Witch I think up or Blair Witch which I think is a bit more chill again climbing through is really beautiful eucalyptus trees really pretty stuff really nice descents here as well on Blair Witch really smooth corners these trails are really well maintained it's a great bunch of folks maintain them so up Blair Witch straight some other trail left and then continue on with up Blair Witch so if you're wondering how to gain and maintain a little bit of fitness so you can ride faster for longer check out my previous video where I've interviewed uh, mountain bike veteran Rowan Adams to uh, get his thoughts on how to fuel your body prepare your body build your strength up to get past for either smoking your mates on the trail or or racing. I think this is a uh, new trail. I think Spine maybe. Didn't quite catch the name. I'll put it on the screen. This is uh, probably a rougher trail. Nothing too bad though if you take everything slowly. Which I am of course not. This takes us back to the eastern car park. Oh, big room. Oh, could jump. Oh, watch out, little guy. Oh, it's so cute. I'm probably going to jump onto my top tube. So let's come back out here to scope out that other trail that crossed over the trail. Had a bit more time. All right. Check on the left. Whoa. Get another jump to flat. This could potentially be lower Blair which I will post it on the screen to find out. Also a really nice beginner's trail. Nice smooth eucalyptus forest trail. And heading back up over upper Blair Witch now. Do some more climbing. I think we'll rejoin down lower. Still a really nice beginner intermediate trail. This field is the bomb for beginner trails. I'm still absolutely loving this. Every time I come out here, I forget how good it is. Yeah, berms are really well made. They're not huge, but they are big enough to allow you to maintain speed and momentum in the corners. Really good stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. Flying through these eucalypts. I don't think I've actually ridden this trail before. Maybe once. Yeah, now we've joined up with the other trail. Bottom of Upper Blair Witch. Alrighty. Homeward bound. Back to the eastern car park. Close to Field East car park. All right, so that concludes my ride out here today at Listerfield. I had a super fun time riding all these green and blue trails. I'll post the link in the description for where I parked. But yeah, come out here and get involved. If you're new to Long and Winding, please uh, consider subscribing and check out some of my other trail videos from other trail centers uh, all around Victoria and beyond. All right, everyone, catch you soon.